and welcome to Evie's Toy House. Today we're making another filly. I've recently been making a lot of fillies. If you haven't checked them out yet, make sure to do so after this video. Here is Princess Cadence, looking super cute with her ponytail. Here is Princess Celestia. And of course, we also have Princess Luna. Today, we have Apple Bloom, and we're going to transform her into Cream Chrysalis. Just like the other fillies, we'll be using resin to create the mane and tail. I think she's going to look really amazing. Let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do here is remove the hair. We are going to snip off all the mane as close as we can to the scalp. And we're also going to cut off the tail. Next, we're going to use 100% acetone and remove the paint on Apple Bloom's body. We're going to remove all the paint including the eyes. Now we're going to paint. I'm going to be using a mix of black, dark gray, and tin. Queen Chrysalis is black, but I think it will look too dark to paint the entire pony black, so we'll go for a few shades lighter. We're going to give the pony a few coats of paint so that she looks nice and dark. Next, taking a bit of oven baked clay, we're going to cover up the stubble on her head. Then, instead of baking the entire pony, we're going to use a heat gun and just heat up the clay portion to cure it. Now we're going to paint the eyes. We're going to start with a light bluish green. Then, a few shades of bright green mixed with dark green. After that, we'll use dark forest green and gray for the pupils. And then line the eyes using black. Finally, we'll add two reflective white dots. Next, taking black, we're going to paint some spots on her legs. Chrysalis has some holes on her legs. However, I didn't want to cut holes in the pony, so we're just going to make it black. Now, taking a bit more oven baked clay, let's make her horn. Here, I'm just using a tube to cut some holes in the horn and then we'll use a heat gun to cure it. After that, we'll paint it dark gray just like the body. Once the paint is dry, we'll attach it with super glue. On the head, we're going to use some acrylic paint in ocean blue to paint the clay on the scalp. Then with green, we'll paint the shell on her back. Now on to part 2, the resin pieces. I've gone ahead and cut out the shapes I wanted for the mane, tail, and wings on a piece of transparency paper. Here are the wings, and also the pieces for the tail. For this next part, we're going to be using clear UV resin. We're going to mix it with a bit of alcohol ink, not too much because we want the hair to be transparent. And then we're going to apply the resin directly onto the transparency film. And cure it with a UV light. We're going to do this to all the transparency pieces, add one coat of UV resin and cure it under the light. Now that the pieces are a bit thicker and easier to handle, we're going to take each piece and attach it to the pony. I'm just going to use more UV resin for this portion. Now 
Here's the main so far. I think it's looking good. Once all the pieces are on, we're going to continue to layer more UV resin onto the main. We'll add a layer, cure, add a layer, cure, and do it until it is much thicker and blends in with the clay on top of the head. We're going to do the same with the wings. We'll attach it to the body and then add more UV resin to make it thicker. Finally, for the tail, we're going to take all the separate pieces of tail and stack them together. Then, we'll add more UV resin to each piece to make it nice and thick. Once it's done, we'll glue it to the back of the pony. Alright everyone, and we are done! Take a look at my little filly! Little filly Queen Chrysalis. Oh my goodness, look at this! I think she turned out really cool looking. Especially her mane and tail. So look at this. So her hair is transparent because we did use UV resin. And I really love that we're able to do all the sharp edges and also the holes in her hair. I think that looks super, super cool. So let's take a close up here. Here is the left side of her face. She has the hair coming down this way and one coming down the front. On this side, we have one large piece of hair and you can still see her eyes through it. On the side here, we have the wings. And in the back, we have the tail. So the tail is multiple pieces stacked together and they're kind of sharp looking. All right, so we are going to add her to our collection. We have Princess Luna, we have Princess Celestia, and we also have Princess Cadence. Oh my goodness, my little collection is growing. So which pony is your favorite so far? If you have not checked out the videos for these other three fillies, make sure to check them out right now. I'll have the links down below in the description. Alright everyone, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time. Bye!